Hi, my name's Trisha, and I wanted to introduce you to my husband, Randall. Um, this is really Randall's story and, and in time our story of how he went from having years of experience but not a piece of paper or letters behind his name to having three qualifications through a process called recognition of prior learning. It's um, one of those processes that remains a big secret really in the training industry and our experience with it has meant that we've created a system and a process that has let us tap into that secret and share that with thousands of Australians and who have attained thousands of qualifications. But the story really starts with Randall and his experience of how he came to be seeking some sort of recognition so I'll let him tell that story. So my, back, my story was I had 16 years experience as a member of the Queensland Police Service when I uh, medically retired back in 2005 and at that time I had um, a wealth of experience, 16 yeah. years. I'd managed teams, there was leadership experience, there was budgets, there was all the different there was Mastering. all the things that police do every yeah. day in talking to complicated people in complicated situations and, and churning it through a, a system that's got a legal system and a social system and my goodness if there's not skills built up there there's not skills and anywhere. Whilst I'd completed courses uh, whilst I was in the police which were internal qualifications mm. and courses yep. they really meant nothing in the outside world they were there to get me promoted when I was in the police. Yeah. Having stepped out of that environment I found all of a sudden that I had no formal qualifications and I started to look into a process which at that stage was foreign to me and it was called recognition of prior learning. Well what happened was, um, you know, after 16 years Randall had to medically retire and that left us as a, as a family with that circumstance that other people have encountered too. What to do next? And um, I came across Randall circling the job ads. You remember when the job ads weren't online in Seek, they were in the newspaper? And I found him circling ads and I looked at them and realised they were for ads for things that he could do standing on his head. And I said to him, what are you, what are you doing? And he said, well, that's all I've got the piece of paper to prove is I can, I can carry a gun on my hip and you know, I've got my licence, but I, I just can't remember, I just want to interrupt you because yeah. I remember him back now. So it was, it was a few years ago. Yeah. Every one of those ads said minimum requirement certificates something rather yeah. minimum requirement diploma something other. I didn't have any of those no. but I had all this experience and it was a real I can't apply for this job but I know I could get it and, it, and truthfully it was gut-wrenching because we were much like every other family we had a mortgage and we had kids and we had to figure out our way through and, and so we came to an agreement that night because it was a tough stage to go through and the agreement was that Randall would go and see a career counsellor. And truthfully, what we were hoping for was that the career counsellor would say that when you grow up, you will be, and just tell us mm. what to do. But he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> but what he did do was point me in the right direction, which was I should go and find myself a registered training organisation, or commonly known as a private TAFE, TAFE yeah. uh, to get my, my skills recognised and some qualifications issued. Now, as I mentioned before, it was a daunting process. Uh, I, I recall jumping online and typing in recognition of prior learning and I saw these applications that were you know, 300 pages and I oh, looked at them and went, amazing. this is too hard, I may as well yeah. do the course. We've seen the ones that the government puts together and they're literally hundreds of pages long. But we were at that point that we had to try and find a solution. And so for us, the paperwork was ridiculously complicated and, and let's not m mince our words, I was a lawyer. <laughs> Randall been in the police, we had both spent years with complicated paperwork and complicated processes and jargon, but when we walked into this sector, the training education sector, and he started to try and talk about having his skills recognised, we were floored by how much was involved and how much paperwork and how confusing and how much jargon and how no one wanted to really talk to us about recognition of prior learning as a valid assessment tool, even though it is, as a way of getting your experience recognised until Randall stumbled across a training organisation on the Gold Coast. And it was a pretty big one, remember? Yeah. Um, and it had been running for some time, and so you got the kit. Oh. Pulled it apart, had a look at it, worked out... Um, Realised it was ridiculously, ridiculously complex. complex. <laughs> but took some time, and, and I really did pull it apart and looked at how I could put my experience into this kit hmm. and then present myself at their um, board meeting. Well, this is what we had really been about, was that our careers had been about if you can imagine being a police officer and then I would prosecute, is that you'd find a situation and you'd have to pull it apart and make sure it mapped across, matched you know, legal provisions, laws and regulations and standards and then take it to a jury. So when it came to 
pulling apart situations and finding our way through complicated paperwork, that was what we were on about. Yes. I remember when I finally, finally got the kit completed to the mm. standard that I thought was success, would be successful, I went along to this meeting and uh, hoping to get a qualification. Now, after the, I had the meeting, I walked away with three diploma wow. qualifications. That was uh, an That was a fantastic moment. It was. It was amazing because I, all I mm. thought was I would be lucky to get a qualification. Yeah. But the real fun came about afterwards. It did. Because Randall, I remember waving Randall off that day and he literally went with a box full of paperwork and how he had mapped it across. This was not a small endeavour. This was like worse than accountants at tax time sort of idea. Mm. And um, I got the phone call afterwards on the way out, you know, and you ring back to say, I didn't just get one qualification, I got three. But even better than that was what the, the gentleman who was the, the general manager, who was basically the person that ran this trainee organisation, this very large Australian trainee organisation, and he stopped Randall and he said one thing to him. Do you remember that conversation? Yeah, he said, this is amazing. And I'm sort of still I'm amazed that I had these qualifications. So anything was amazing to me at that time. But he said, what you've actually done here is amazing. You've pulled apart mm. the recognition of prior learning process. You've simplified it. You put it into a, a, a format that we can look at and recognise. And he said, no one knows how to do this. That's right. And why don't you go and help other people by doing exactly this? Well, that's when I jumped on the phone to Trisha and said, how, what do you think about this? We can help other people navigate this minefield mm. of recognition of prior learning. And, and we, that's what we've done. And we, we've taken it as a, a fantastic way to give back. You know, we've been at that point. We understand what it feels like to be facing a career transition. We understand what it feels like to be facing that I need to progress, but I'm caught because I don't have those pieces of paper. But we also understand how frustrating that is to have all those years of experience and to not be eligible for the job simply because you can't tick that box that says you have that piece of paper, that qualification to your name. So what we set about doing and what we've loved doing for the whole seven years we've been doing it is that we set about creating a very simple process for other people who find themselves in our situation to have their skills recognised and translated and to be issued with a nationally recognised qualification and take that and soar. Go climb that ladder and get that job or transition your career. And we've been so proud to gather around us a team of, of all of our team have been through this exact experience. They all understand what it feels like to find yourself needing that piece of paper and to think to yourself, but oh, I've got so much experience. Recognition of prior learning is a legitimate process. Well, it is. It's just that the training industry likes to keep it a little secret, mm. because for their money, for their perspective, more money, more bums on seats. So, from our perspective, we look at it and go, let's have a situation where people can have access to a nationally recognised qualification and being assessed on the experience they bring to the table. And that's what we've done, and, and we've done it for the last seven years. And um, we've loved the fact that Randall's story leading to what we'd hoped for would be one single qualification to walk out that day when he walked out with three. But since then we've had the opportunity through our own registered training organisation to issue thousands of nationally recognised qualifications. And even better, we love hearing the stories that come back through of people that have gone on and got the job that they were chasing and got the promotion and, and got the pay rise and taken their family on to that place that they wanted them to be. And for us, that's what it continues to be about and we love it. And for us, it's also a case of, you know, we're always available to talk to other people who find themselves in the situation we did. Yeah, I'd encourage you to go onto our website to look at some of the testimonials. They're real life people, like myself, mm -hmm. who's been able to use their skills to get qualifications that have taken them further. Our website is www.churchilleducation.edu.au or if you want to talk to me or one of the team, our number is 1300 mm -hmm. 793 -002. Give us a call, we'd love to have a chat, but more importantly we'd love to hear about your experience and where you see that taking you. Thanks, we'll catch up with you soon.